Welcome back to failing to jump on chairs and tables. That's weird. Well, whatever. Okay, let's go back to all the Paper Mario. All of the Paper Mario. All of it. Yeah, how about we go to the dojo? See who we can fight this time. As they're not dealing with any Shy Guy problems, it seems. Let's try. Oh, really? We get to fight the Master! Some awesome music! Yes! Let's tattle the Master. The Master. He's the strongest... 50 HP, attack 6, defense 0. Yeah, we should be careful. If that's all Goombardia knows, yeah, we should be careful. How shall we start this battle? Power smash. Feel bad hitting an old guy, but... Yeah, he's kind of tough. Six attack is not nothing to sneeze at. Luckily, we have the power of Shrink Stomp. Try this. The Master is tiny now. Now he's just like Jinx from uh, Super Mario RPG. <sighs> yeah, that, that can be difficult to deal with regardless. <laughs> How about a Star Storm? Shoot all the stars at him! Why not? Just do a charge hit against him. And he's at half HP already. Yes I do, thank you. But his normal attack is still kinda tough. Might as well uh, refresh. Oh my god, I just noticed, right to the sides, in the background, there's bamboo. That's kind of awesome. What shall we do? Yeah, another shrink stomp. Hey, maybe now we can airlift someone. Look, they're so tiny, we can obviously do it, right? No, obviously not. I don't know why I tried to do that. It just amused me. He's tiny now, now we can carry him away! <laughs> That'd be awesome if you could actually do that. But you can't. Just do a powerful attacks. Try to beat him before he beats us. Need some really good timing on that one. Wait, what? What was that? Whoa! We could beat him. I guess you could call it that. Well, we got a third degree thing now. What does this guy think about this? 
Yes, Mario is the strongest ever. The end. Anyway, what shall we do? There's a shy guy here too, really? It's impossible to get refreshed with a shy guy on here. <laughs> yeah, let's take a nap. Be hilarious if you wake up. This is a shy guy next to you. Yeah, Shrink Stomp is a little overpowered, too. How about... what else can we do? That's interesting. Yeah, how about we just put Dizzy Tech back on? Why not? What should I do? How about some jump attack? Why not? Jump! Attack! Of course. Bowser's the last one. Now Bowser's the third one. Eh, forget it. I don't know. Actually... Actually, I have an idea. How about... We finally show off... What we're supposed to do with these little oinks. Uh, we have to get more oinks. Get more piggies. And eventually... Now that piggy just ran away! Because that's the limit of piggies you can have in there. Ten. However, in order to get the item, they just dropped. We have to go in and they all run away. Sad. But we got a repel gel out of it. Just wanted to show off uh, the point of this thing. Now we'll get another piggy just to have one in there. But yeah, it's a weird system, and the type of piggy you got, uh, first, I believe. Uh... Is what decides what item you get out of that. And the items disappear really quickly, so you have to run and get in there. Otherwise, it's gonna be vanished. It's gonna be gone. I mean, we have that thing, we could go in that, but I'm gonna save that for later. No butt stop today. However, there is something we can do, I think. First of all, how about get another one of these? Second of all, 
Let's go back to the Koopa Village. And... And... Talk to this guy again. Okay. So yeah, we have to get Koopa tea. Here is the problem with this one. Oh, hey! Chuck Quizmo, we'll deal with him in a second. Uh, but yeah, you basically need to cook a Koopa leaf. But unfortunately, Tasty can't do anything right now, so this is useless. We can't do anything with this side quest. So instead, let's take another quiz. Chuck Quizmo, his assistant, and his magical microphone. This one I just had to guess, even though I was just there. I mean, I mean, uh, obviously I went to the Koopa Village because I knew they would have this quiz. Yeah, let's... sure. Despairs as usual. Where does he go, anyway? Well, whatever. We have more things to do. If I go back to Dry Dry Desert? Of course. And now we've proven ourselves to that guy as well. You talk to your mother saying that. No, I'd like to believe he's just actually just saying swear words. <laughs> that'd be that'd be kind of funny. Maybe. But anyway, you try to talk to this guy and you can't do anything. But hey, red tree. How about we try running around it? Obviously I can't do it when he... I have to walk like an idiot and go in like a square shape, but... And I, and I think for a little bit, is this actually working? Because something's supposed to happen by now. But eventually we do get something for doing this. Uh, sh sure. Why not? Good question! I guess so. Ah, spin jump, eh? Whirling roof house. I wonder what that's about. Well, yeah, it's obvious, isn't it? This house with this weird, this weird little roof. You have to do with some butt stomps. And then, after three, you get a badge. The quick chains badge. Yes, I should. You can change a party member and attack with it on the same turn. So it entirely negates the uh, annoying use a turn to like change party members thing. Fortunately, it uses 4 BP. So we're not going to be using it anytime soon. Unfortunately. 
Hopefully we can use it sooner rather than later because that is very, very useful. Something I'd very much like to have. Not even for like making things easier, but just to make things a little less annoying with all the tattling and whatnot. But after all this, what else can we do? What else can we do? Oh, oh. I know that music. It's Twink, hooray! Something happened. Yes, Twink believed in the plumber that believed in you that believes in the plumber. Well, I guess I have now. Seriously, I'm not too surprised because look at all the Shy Guys, but... Toy Box? I'm not sure where that would be. But it's good to have that, uh, encouragement, I suppose. What else can we do? Oh, good to know. Some guys just ran into the shop. Yeah, I just saw it. So now we... Well, we can still buy things, I guess. But I'm not sure what to buy. Yeah, I actually have no idea why I took that item, to be honest. What should we buy this time, though? Honestly. Nothing. <laughs> we will buy nothing. Oh, maybe they went to the port. Good idea, sir. Oh, the shy guys are at least good here. But yeah, there's nothing here. Except uh, this guy's fuzzy peed got stolen. Oh yeah, this guy has another story first. It seems in the past he did a lot of the similar adventures that we've had. And... Wow, he even knows a lot about Bootler, it seems. Well, that's, a, that's actually a very interesting story. It gives us some backstory for, uh... All the booze and the mansion. So that's nice, I guess. What? What's that thing? It's kind of blue. It's weird, but that has nothing to do with what we're dealing with. So, I guess we can ignore that. Yeah, okay, uh, that's about it, honestly. Next time on Paper Mario, we'll finally get to the bottom of what's going on with these side guys. And maybe we'll try to find a toy box. Wherever that is. See you there. <laughs>